Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my final prediction from Miss Universe Thailand 2020. This is actually my fourth video in tribute to Miss Universe Thailand 2020 pageant. Part 1, 2, and 3 are already uploaded in my YouTube channel, so if you haven't checked that out, please do. Part 1 talks about my top 10 choice for the best in national costume. Part 2 are my top 10 choice for the best in swimsuit preliminaries. And Part 3 are my top 10 choice for the top 10 best in evening gown preliminaries. And of course, this is Part 4. Final prediction for Miss Universe Thailand 2020. 29 contestants, one crown. So this is going to be a very, very exciting finale on the 10th of October. So we'll make sure that we will be tuning in to see who will be Thailand's representative for Miss Universe 2020. And here are my choices on who I think deserves to be the winner. I only picked top 10 because if I picked up 15, it would be a long, it would be a longer time to take the pick who will definitely be in there. So I decided let's just make it 10 to be easier. Anyway, here's my top 10. Starting with my number 10, 10th place, Ben Jarat. Candidate number one, consistent in both rounds, and I can see her advancing at this far, at this far in the competition. But I'm not sure how far she can really go because yes, she is good, but is it good enough to compete in an international competition like Miss Universe? I am not sure yet, and I can even answer the question. Although some ladies needs to watch her though, because this woman is slaying the swimsuit and evening gown round, and she could even take over the spot of other front runners if she will deliver very well in the finale. Ninth place is Wichuda, candidate number 77. I will be very disappointed if this woman will be ignored because I really feel like she is one of the strongest candidates during the preliminary competition. I like her very, very much. And the only issue with her is she resembles Stephanie Gutierrez, Miss Universe Venezuela 2018, and I wanted her to build her own unique identity, but nevertheless, performance-wise, she was one of the best ones. Eighth place is Patita, candidate number 33. Strong candidate as well, but I am not sure if she is giving the same strong impact just like the other ladies above her in this list. I can see her doing very well and will be will be rewarded with the right and well deserved placement based on her performance, of course. But I don't really see her going beyond top five. But we'll see how she does in the finals. I mean, she's good, but is she bordering top five? I don't see that yet, although I will not be surprised because what I have said, consistency is her power. Seventh place, Tawi Porn. Candidate number 79, my heart really wanted her to be in the top five. I just love Tawi Porn very much. I just love her beauty, love her eyes. She performed consistently strong in both rounds of the competition and I know she is seventh in my overall list but again as what I have said I am secretly wishing that she would go all the way and I will be cheering for her because she deserves that she deserves to be on top I just don't think the judges will I'm not sure if the judges see things the way I do but I really hope so because I I, I will be happy if Tawi Porn goes very far in the finale nights. Number six, sixth place, Amy, candidate number 26. I really like Amy, but I just feel like her performance compared to the other ladies competing are quite underwhelming. Her swimsuit was good, her evening gown was just okay, and if she isn't as hyped as other candidates, I'm sure she will be much lower in this list. However, I am also aware of the fact that many people loved her, even me, because she can speak very well. But then again, those great speaking skills will be useless if she can't pass swimsuit and evening gown. I mean, however, however, I am willing to swallow all my words if she delivers in the finals. Because there, here's the thing. 
If Emmy enters the top five final question round, it is done. I mean, she's going to deliver, give a winning answer, and of course, she will prove me wrong. Full stop. I still wish her luck because she is a wonderful woman, but I still feel like she still needs to be honed, transformed, and polished, unlike the other ladies in my top list. That's just my opinion. Again, I will not be surprised if Emmy goes far into the top five because I feel like she also deserves it based on what we saw during the interviews. It's just other rounds of the competition are also being factored. So again, we'll see. I'm really confused on how far she'll go. So I'm very excited how Emmy, it, it, it's either she could prove me wrong or prove me right. But we'll see in the finale. Now let's go to my top five. Starting with my fifth place, CD Lux. Candidate number 50. I did not expect this at all, but I feel like we have to give her the credit for performing very well in the preliminaries and even in the past few days. Again, I get a feeling that she will punch me in the face and give me that Zozibini 2.0 slap once again. However, that performance she gave in the preliminaries was just phenomenal. I also think that she is one of the consistently strong candidates in this group. So I will be I will not be surprised at all if she could go very very far. But having said that, I will not be surprised as well if she will be caught early. So, but for now in my list, I'll, just based on everything that I have seen, preliminaries, interviews, and everything, I'll place her in my top five. She and uh, to be honest. I could even imagine her pulling a possible victory. But again, we'll see. Number four, fourth place, Brywanik. Candidate number 56. I know I have been very vocal before that her performers are quite inconsistent, but I saw how she's improving. And if she wins Miss Universe Thailand, I know she could be transformed and could improve into a much stronger candidate. I am placing her in the top five because I saw how she improved in the preliminaries compared to the first time I saw her walk and if she could polish everything in the finals I can see her doing some serious damage in the top five remember she is a golden tiara holder and she is a strong speaker and I am serious that if this woman could pass swims at an evening gown expect her to do some serious damage in the top five do some shuffling in the result because we might see her placing very very high now here are my final three. Second runner-up is Pravinar candidate number eight if I haven't seen this preliminary competition I will be placing Vina somewhere in the top five or could even be in the top ten but I am amazed at how this woman transformed into a solid solid contender in both rounds of the preliminaries she surprised me in both rounds and surprised in the best and amazing way ever if she can transform and amazingly do it in preliminaries imagine how strong she's going to be in the finals and that makes me very excited for her another possible crown contender my first runner-up is Ponika candidate number 18 being a product of an international pageant and doing well in both of them I can really feel that Punika can also be a great choice to send to Miss Universe because she has already proved twice that she can do it and make her country proud and I have no doubt that she can do it for the third time once she go to Miss Universe one of the strongest candidates when it comes to catwalk skills and you will never be disappointed every time she performs she also speaks very very well based on the translation that I have seen but I haven't heard her in English yet having said that I believe no one will be surprised if we will be seeing Punika in the finals, either in the final two or even winning because I will not be surprised if she wins. She is so so good. I have also seen a lot of videos where she is interacting with her fans and she's such a very very sweet woman, very down to earth. She interacts with her fans just like there's no barrier at all. Just like a very personable candidate and that's what we really wanted to see as a winner so Ponika is my first runner up in this final prediction but if she wins no surprise at all but my choice for Miss Universe Thailand 2020 is Amanda candidate number 97 
Being chosen as one of the Golden Tiara Queens just proved that she is one of the strongest speakers in this batch, which is also an important quality that a winner needs to have, especially with how IMG is going. When I was watching the preliminaries, I just feel like I smiled watching her performance. I mean, it's an overwhelming feeling because I can really see Amanda doing very well. And even when Miss Universe for Thailand, she doesn't only have the beauty, but she's got the charisma, the confidence, and solid performances in both rounds of the preliminaries. I expect nothing less from her. And it would be a shame if we do not see this amazing woman in an international stage like Miss Universe. To be honest, I'm so, so happy watching her preliminaries because I just feel something special in her. Something that screams possible Miss Universe. I'm really hoping Amanda is the right winner. But then again, regardless on who wins on the 10th, I'm pretty sure Thailand is going to make an excellent decision and will be choosing the, the right candidate for their country to represent in Miss Universe 2020. So that's it. This is my final prediction for Miss Universe Thailand 2020. So I would love to know your thoughts. Do you think I missed some of the stronger candidates or some of your favorites? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.